This is a short guided meditation, simply called to begin. I normally give it in the beginning of retreat to help somebody enter into silence and create that space within. The printable version of this will be in the video description or the comments. And feel free to use it as much as it's helpful. Perhaps we can begin as St. Ignatius recommends that we do, that we begin every moment of prayer, just becoming aware of God's presence. We take a moment to take a deep breath. And we become aware simply that we live and breathe and have our be being within the embrace of God, who is Trinity. As we say in the name of the Father, we become aware that we are God's children. As we say in the name of the Son, we think of Jesus, our brother, the way, the truth, the life, and the Holy Spirit lives with us, within us, since our baptism. And we take a couple of moments to breathe. We just deep, do a deep breath and exhale. In a second moment, we take a deep breath, hold it, and then take some extra. <laughs> And exhale. And as you exhale, take some extra out and inhale. Then take a couple more extra breaths and exhale. Empty your lungs completely and continue breathing. As you do so, simply take a moment to feel your breath as it comes in through your nostrils, a little bit cooler, how it comes up, kind of comes out a little warmer. Inhale and in and exhale. Perhaps you could pay attention as you continue breathing to where you're breathing from. If you're breathing from your chest, that means that you probably have your stomach a little tight better form of breathing is through your diaphragm so if you can just relax all your muscles and breathe from your stomach that's the way babies breathe take a deep breath in and out And just notice your breathing. St. Therese once uh, wrote, St. Therese of Lisieux, that she would fall asleep sometimes at prayer. And she said, well, at first I'd be beating myself up for it. And later I realized that a child falls asleep in her mother's arms all the time. So it's okay to fall asleep in God's arms. <laughs> but breathing like a child makes me think of that. 
from our diaphragm, like a child who is in her mother's arms, her father's arms. Take a deep breath, in and out. Breathe in, and breathe out. And as we continue breathing, we will now move on to paying attention to something different. We are trying to create silence within us. And that doesn't mean that we need to create a perfect silent environment. That doesn't exist. Instead, just take a moment to listen. Listen to the sound of your surroundings. There might be the sound of people speaking in the background. Just take a moment to delight in that. Just imagine how God sees them with love. Perhaps there are different sounds of cars in the background or whatever environment it might be in. Just take a moment to listen to that. And pay attention. Sometimes there are layers of sounds. I try to distinguish what those layers are. Different voices, different cars, different birds, the sound of your own breathing. Just take a moment to pay attention as you continue to breathe. If I get distracted by one thought or another, it's okay. I just come back and I continue to pay attention to the sounds, to my breathing. What are those things around me? What is this context where the Lord has placed me today? I simply let it be And I become aware that I'm a part of this world with all its noise, with all its complications, and even I come in with my own internal noises. And that's okay. And I let those noises be without being taken 
by them. I become aware that I'm not my thoughts. I can just observe my thoughts and let them pass like a wave, like a cloud. We breathe in, we breathe out, we listen. with the light and the sounds around us. And now, we're gonna take a couple moments to get familiar with our own body and try to relax our own body a little more. As you continue breathing, just take a moment to notice what you're feeling in your body. It might be a chair pressing against your body. It might be your own clothing. Your arms, wherever they are positioned. Just feel, feel the base of your feet, feel your legs, your torso, your head. As you continue breathing and listening to everything around you, We'll take a couple moments to relax our body. Maybe we take a couple of seconds to notice our face. A lot of times we're making faces without noticing. Maybe we can bring all of our muscles in our face together to the center, making kind of like a racing face. Tense, 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 and relax. Notice the difference. I take a big smile. Close your eyes, the biggest smile of your life. And relax all those muscles. Just notice the difference and leave your face relaxed. Now take a moment to notice your shoulders. There might be tight or relax however they are we take a moment to bring them to the center and tense put a little tension in those shoulders and the count of three we're going to let them fall one two and three just feel the difference between tension and relaxation one more time we bring them to the center at the count of three, we relax. One, two, and three. They fall. And we'll continue doing that. Maybe if we move our head to one side and to the other, we'll feel the muscles in our neck tensing and relaxing. If we bring our arms closer to us, we can feel our biceps, if we extend them, our triceps. If we bring our hands together, we can feel our forearms tense, relax, close and open and feel them, relax. Your chest, we tense it, relax it. Your back, tense. Relax, your stomach, tense, relax. Your legs, we tense, relax. Your calves, tensing and relaxing. Those muscles in front of your calves, 
Bring your toes up, tense, relax. And your foot, think of it as if it was a hand, you can close them, close the toes. Tense and relax them, bring them up. Bring tension there and relax. And feel your whole body relaxing. As you continue to breathe, to listen to the sounds around you. Feel your, enti- your entire body relaxing. And now we will begin resting on a couple of scripture passages. I will read a passage. And we simply try to rest in that. Maybe we offer that to the Lord or we listen to the Lord as he is with us, what he might want to tell us. Perhaps we want to tell him something. The first one is from Psalm 34, verse 18. It says, The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and he saves the downcast in spirit. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and he saves the downcast in spirit. Perhaps my heart feels a little broken hearted. Perhaps I can think of someone in my life that feels like that. And I just take a moment to let the Lord feel near to me. Let the Lord embrace me, embrace my broken heart. Maybe embrace another person in my life that might feel broken hearted and I embrace them as the Lord embraces them. Perhaps I feel downcast in any way, in my spirit. It says the Lord saves the downcast in spirit. Salvation has to do with being with God forever. And in that sense, as we are here on earth, experiencing the presence of the Lord, we are living a little piece of salvation in heaven. So we let that embrace comfort us. Now we'll listen from Zephaniah 317. The Lord your God is in your midst. He is powerful and he will save you the Lord will be pleased with you. With his love, he will give you new life. In his joy, he will sing. Please take a moment to relish that beautiful image of the Lord smiling at us 
being happy with us, seeing our goodness, all of the giftedness that we have, this body, this senses, our surroundings, our everything where we are located, it is a gift of God. And, and the Lord sees us with love, and He is the gift giver. And this beautiful image, in his joy, he will sing. Perhaps I can see the Lord in that joyful singing. And finally, we take a couple moments to speak to the Lord from our heart and to listen. What might God want to say to me? What do I need to say to God? If you don't know what to say, that's a good place to begin. But maybe you do. If there has been a distraction during this moment of prayer, something that brings you out, maybe there is something there to talk about with God. Without leaving this moment of prayer, maybe you can talk about that with the Lord. If there was something from those scripture passages that spoke to you, maybe a sense of broken hearted, heartache, perhaps you wanna talk about that with God for a moment. Maybe it is for this person that you think might be brokenhearted and you place that person in God's heart. Maybe it is about that giftedness. Whatever it is, speak and then try to imagine what God might say to you. Take a few moments to check again with your breathing. To check again your surroundings. See if there's anything you want to say to God about all of it. To check again with your body how are you feeling? How were you feeling when you started? How do you feel now? Maybe talk to God about that. 
just take a moment to be in our embrace with God for a moment. Just rest in that embrace. And we will finish with an Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. We finish in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless.